Zombie Apocalypse is an absolutely unhinged number of weapons. A match made in Undead Heaven and Dead Island 2 has a lot of weapons you can get your mitts on to rain merry hell on the zombie population of Hell 8. Not every weapon is created equal though, and once you've graduated from commons and uncommons to rare and superior weapons, there's only one level higher for you to discover. Legendary weapons are incredibly powerful and can turn any endgame of Dead Island 2 into an absolute cakewalk and they're incredibly fun to use, so you're going to want to find every single one of these zombie slaying mega weapons you can. Possibly one of the slicker legendary weapons is the Blood Rage Knife, so here is how you get your hands on it. To snag this mythical blade, you'll have to wait until you unlock the Lost and Found mission named Fool's Gold. You can't start Fool's Gold until near the end of the Boardwalking Dead story mission over at the pier, but the wait is more than worth it, trust us. To start the mission, you need to kill this special crusher zombie called Dante, who will drop a letter when you put him down. Once you've killed Dante and picked up the letter, head into the building and towards this locker that used to belong to Randy. The game will then task you with following a paper trail to a hidden safe, which you might by now have guessed, holds the legendary Blood Rage knife. From there, you need to head to a very specific spot by the Ferris wheel on the pier. Just make sure you're stocked up with plenty of weapons and ammo, as there are a lot of zombies in this area and you're going to want to make sure you can get in and out alive. Once there, pop a squat on this bench where you'll find the Meeting of the Minds item. Once you've grabbed it, you'll get the next step of the side quest. Head to this spot on your map, it's only a short walk north of where we were before on the pier, and in a little alley next to the pizzeria, by the bins you'll find the final item on this treasure hunt across Dead Island 2. Pick up the flaws in the plan item and then hustle back to right where we started this whole thing. Head round the back where you'll find this kind of makeshift alleyway between the building and a fence. Find the safe buried in the ground just here and interact with it. But make sure you're ready for a fight. As soon as you interact with the safe, a horde of zombies is going to spawn in to make sure you can get your hands on this undead killing machine. So deal with them and open up the safe one final time to get your hands on the fabled Blood Rage knife. So what makes this knife so special? Well for a start, Blood Rage has Headhunter. Headhunter boosts critical hits on zombie headshots, so as long as you're aiming for the head, and combo it with the critical perk, Blood Rage sends heads flying all over the shop. Blood Rage also has a unique perk called Infectious that forces surrounding zombies to start bleeding after you hit one of them. Not only do you get one of the best status conditions without actually needing to craft the mod, but it's great for crowd control and weakening groups while also allowing you to hard focus on individual targets. Puncture Wounds also ensures the bleeding damage is boosted when you land critical hits, and this damage boost even transfers the critical hit damage, meaning the more crits you perform, the more powerful they are, and with Headhunter, you're going to be critting non-stop. Oh, and it has ridiculous base damage straight off the bat, making it easily one of the best weapons in the game. As it should be, you put a lot of work into finding it, so go out there and rain merry hell on the undead denizens of Hell A. So that's where you find the Blood Rage Knife in Dead Island 2. Let us know what's your favourite legendary weapon that you've found so far, and check out these guide videos to help you out on your holiday in Hell A.